Hey everyone, Ted Hill with Superior Image Car Care. Today we're going to be talking about uh, clay bars, uh, a couple of their uses and my, maybe why you choose one over the other, uh, and then a couple different processes on how they use them. So let's jump right in and, and talk about them. So this is our blue medium clay bar. It's a 220 gram bar, which is a little bit bigger than most of the others on the market. Uh, typically, what I like to do with this is I cut it using you know, scissors or a razor blade or something carefully into fours. And once I have that quarter, that's essentially the, the amount of clay I'm gonna use for that vehicle, given that it's not overly contaminated and maybe that one clay bar is not going to, or that one piece of the clay bar is not going to last the entire length of the vehicle. Because after you do a section, you need it over to make a, a new clean side. The differences here, just go over those real quick in the blue and the purple. The blue is a is a medium clay bar and the purple is an aggressive clay bar. You can tell this a lot of times by like the density of the clay. The clays that are, because not everybody uses the same colors, but the clays that are very soft are typically the most aggressive and the reason why is they're gonna grab into the surface and pull the contaminants out of the surface. And that's worth mentioning too. That's that's the reason why we're clay barring uh, the surface of the vehicle in the first place is to remove contaminants, embedded contaminants in the clear coat. Um, and you can kind of think of it if you don't know, like exfoliating your skin, right? So you're gonna exfoliate and you're gonna pull up all the dead skin and everything and then, and then you're gonna put some lotion or something like that into it that, or a wax for a vehicle or a ceramic or something like that to, to bring that hydration back and bring that, that protection back into the surface. So a um, couple different ways that these bars can be used. I already mentioned, I like to use them in fours because I feel like if you use an entire bar, it's just wasteful. Uh, typically it's not needed. A quarter of a bar is going to get, you know, a moderately sized vehicle done pretty well. So say you've washed it, you've dried it, and now you want to clay it. Um, our Show Shine detail spray is typically diluted four to one as just your detail spray, your gloss enhancement, your, your you know, your little added protection on top of, of the finish after you said, you know, you wax or sealant or something like that. It's got a lot of lubricants in it, it's highly lubricid, so we can use this as our clay lube as well. Uh, typically, we're going to dilute this for our detail, quick detailer needs at a four to one. Uh, for clay lube, you're going to want to cut it one to one. The other way you can do it too is the way that I personally like to do it and that is clay barring essentially in the middle of the wash process. So after you wash the vehicle, I'll foam the vehicle up again or if you're mitting you can use this, the same soap and mitt in the bucket that you were washing with as your lubricant and you can just go through and clay and, and, and use the mitt or your foam that's on the vehicle as your clay lube, rinse it all off, dry it and you're done.